Hi Survivors, it's me Prepper Zan reporting to you. Um, I really miss you guys. I was in YouTube jail for those of you who don't know because y'all know I usually post once or twice a day. And unfortunately, I hadn't had any access to anybody to give my perspectives on everything that's going on in the world. But thank God today I do. And of course, we have a lot to catch up with and we have a lot to talk about. And the main uh, topic of discussion today would be the severity uh, and how crucial times have gotten right before our very eyes. I know that we talk about this. I know that um, we prep for it. I know that we plan for it. Um, but to see it actually unfold in real time in all of our lives is just... I would like to say unimaginable because, you know, um, you know, as preppers, we always say we just, we, I can't phrase it the way I want to phrase it because there's so much going on. How they say you prepare for the worst, you expect the best, but you prepare for the worst, but you really don't want these things to happen, but you are prepared and you try to prepare as much as you possibly, possibly can, uh, for these things to happen, for when these things do occur, and everything is so severe. A lot of people, unfortunately, are not going to make it. And I feel like to a certain extent, I'm being careful with the words that I choose and how I I convey my messages to you guys. Um, because I was shut down because y'all know how, how I just spit how I feel. Um, I like to say that it's been designed that way. But at the same time, it has gotten so hard to just live. When the price of food is so high, where you can't afford to feed yourself or your family, you know what time it is. When the gas lines have been hacked and you can't get back and forth to work or get your children where they need to go or your spouses where, you, where you guys may need to go and gas have become like $7 a gallon and you can't even afford it, what do you do? I'm glad that in the last couple of months, God started steering me towards a higher calling as far as spirituality is concerned, as far as health is concerned. And I have been fortunate to share this journey with you guys. The importance of protecting your mind, the importance of protecting and, 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 and getting healthy in your body. See, I started telling you guys, take long walks, jog if you have to, dance at home if you have to, because not only is going to help and prepare your body for these times, a lot of people going to have to walk and cycle now because of the gas prices are so overwhelming and because of the lack of gas. And what being in shape does as a prepper, especially, because I know like with a lot of you, as well as myself, a lot of us, we on the edge, anxious. Every time something happens, we're like, whoa, 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 is this it? Is this, is this the big shebang where it all goes down? It's important for us to keep a steady mind and to be calm in the midst of these trials and tribulations. That's the main way of surviving, first of all. It's no surviving without a clear, steady mind and a healthy body. That's the, that's the foundation of being a survivor. That's the foundation of being a prepper, a good prepper. If you're serious about being a, 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 good, a good prepper, you can't survive any catastrophe any situation, any pandemic, any financial crisis without being calm and being patient with yourself 
and being at ease. You won't know how to be effective in communication, be effective in decision making, be effective in making wise choices. If you're panicked, if you're full of anxiety, and if you don't have a sense of peace and patience within yourself, first of all, and with everything that's going on around you, even when everything is crumbling like it seems to be now. I like to encourage you to find that inner peace as a prepper, as a survivor. You tell yourself in your affirmations and your meditations that no matter what is going on around me, I'm a survivor. I'm going to survive this. My family's going to survive this. And we're going to get through. So, uh, so that's number one. Number two, what is your plans? What are your plans for what we're facing and what we're dealing with now? Are you going to get some land? Are you going to start growing? And even if you can't get land, are you going to start growing right where you are inside of your home or inside of your apartment or inside of your condo, growing your own vegetables and fruits? Right now may not be a good time to try to store a lot of gas unless you have that kind of money and that kind of time to, uh, you know, wait in these long lines. And hopefully by the time you get to that pump, if there's still some gas available to you. You know, so what's your alternatives? Do you have a moped? Do you have a bicycle? Are you in shape enough where you can walk or you can run? See, I think that we have forgotten about our ancestors and we have forgotten how they used to commute. It was by way of their feet. Before horses came about. You remember our ancestors used to tell us how they would walk miles and miles to school, how they would have to get up very, very early in the morning and walk, and they were in the best shape of their lives. How they ate from their land. It might not have been their land, but with the land that they were on and how they lived for such a long time. And some of our ancestors have hard, uh, you know, history of hardships with the system and with society that they had to go through. There were slaves and not just with the African-Americans, with the black people, there were other nationalities that went through such severities, but they survived. And a lot of that had to do with their health and the way that they were eating. We can get through anything. We can survive and we'll survive anything with the right mindset, with the right body, and making great choices in life. So I hope this video encourages and inspires you to get into the best shape of your life, to be patient, to have faith that no matter what is going on around you, you are a survivor. I call you guys survivors because you are. You are a survivor. So our main existence in life is to survive. And I've given you the foundation of survival today. And pray that you take heed. Get your house in order. Get your mind in order. Be calm and have a sense of peace in the midst of the storm. A lot of people are not going to make it. They're just not going to make it. But you will. Ration your food. Ration your time. Ration your money. Assemble people around you that have like minds, have the same mindset as you. Start planning and keep prepping. Thank you so much for watching today. I would like for you guys to leave comments on what you're doing to keep a peaceful mind and how you're preparing during these times. Because we don't panic. We prepare. You keep surviving. Sandhero.com.